Merry Christmas! Woo! Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what? What Vlogmas is it? I'm on like day three. <laughs> I'm on day three, babes. Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. Now, I haven't filmed anything in a couple of days, as you'll have seen. In fact, the last vlog that I have currently uploaded, I have a vlog filmed from when I went home for the weekend. However, the last vlog that is currently up on my channel is a vlog where I'm crying. We've all seen it, we've all heard it. I honestly want to start off by just saying thank you for all the comments and the DMs that I received after posting that video. I feel like I use my vlog channel as like a little diary. I was saying to Anna the other day, she was like, why? did you not? I told all my friends obviously that I was sad and that I'd had a little cry um, because I came over to Anna's afterwards but I didn't go into detail with it and I feel like this channel is my diary like things that I don't want to sit in front of someone and say it's so much easier to sit and say it in front of a camera because Anna was like well why have you put it on YouTube but not told us and I was like it just feels easier it feels like I'm still releasing them emotions to somewhere so I just want to say thank you so much honestly from the bottom of my heart for anyone that just even listened to me rambling on and crying it really does mean the world today's a really exciting day and I have been rushed off my feet all day I didn't have my vlog camera on me because it would have been a funny experience to document. I were in and out of sex shops. I were in and out of different shops in the Orndale. Sat in traffic for an hour. I've literally just been here, there and everywhere. I don't really know where I've been and what I've been doing. We had a Christmas dinner celebration at Lewis's house last night, which was really, really nice. I didn't film any of it because I literally, like I said, I don't really film when I'm around them anyway, just because I don't want to show the camera in their faces. But it was so, so lovely. Did end up getting quite drunk. Did wake up at 12 o'clock this morning thinking, oh my God, fuck, I've not even gone out and got my secret Santa present for today because everything I ordered for my secret Santa are not going to arrive in time. Me, Tia, Callum, Freya, Anna and Haz are all having like a friend's Christmas because we all go home for Christmas this weekend so we thought for the first time ever why not all have like a friend's Christmas together. Suddenly the world I used to know I see it differently You No, I'm loving just the silence of this like I can hear everyone breathing. Oh, where's mine? Oh, we should do it that TikTok where it's like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, Tia, my darling. Is this my glass? As in, is this from my house? This is my glass from my house, you thief. Merry Christmas! Woo! Are you ready for our dance battle? Alexa, play Cheeky Girls. Are you ready for our dance battle? No. Right, we are um, about to do Secret Santa. I don't really know how it works. Everyone's gonna guess handwriting, surely. But I know you've brought this present in. <laughs> we know who's brought what wrapping paper. No. Come on, girlies. Not necessarily. Right, is that all of them? I think so. Here. Um, and. Oh. Um. What <laughs> Maybe my calculations <laughs> were correct. <laughs> Who's are them? Oh, I love them. Yeah, yeah. Can they so be mine? Who's, 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 <laughs> do I have to guess who? Girls, we all know. We all know. Who's I don't know. No, no, no. Please, please guess because I have no idea. Hasn't here. Don't know who's got anyone. I don't know. I have absolutely. We've all figured everyone else is out. We've figured it out. So I do know. Who's no, you just lift the lid up. I mean, I don't know. Santa wrapped it. Oh, oh. Is it stuff you really need? We've got a bit of a dandruff problem at the moment. Maybe that'll strip the colour in here. Oh. It's a Playboy. Ah. What? Like on the back. Pickled <laughs> onions. <laughs> 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 is that what I wanted from Morphe? It is indeed, my guy. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. <laughs> that. That's actually really good. I want you to open your magazine. I'm really excited for this one, actually, Callum. And I really hope you like it. This secret Santa's come to the same. Is it a murder mystery? It, well, Callum's been loving thrillers. And um, this one, <laughs> he says, if you love the BA Paris, then you really like this one. So I thought, oh, Callum loves BA Paris. <laughs> 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 oh, that sounds like a good break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I know Hal's got me these. Oh, <laughs> how do you do it? Please, 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 Oh, oh girl! That's such a good move! Oh, I'm 
on my Kindle. Stunned to speak. Is you? I have no idea your handwriting looks like that. It doesn't. I baked it. I'm swearing shit. Something literally. Oh my god. Swearing shit. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Not that I need that, but thanks, girl. I'm shit present, so. I love that your hair's like wrapped in the river. I'm just spread it already. What the fuck is that? I've got a nose. So, this is because you put on your story saying that you're now a crystal candle gay. So, when you like this, it's a hidden crystal on the bottom. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, because you had your pet moon candle the other day. Oh, look at me. Oh, this is where the. Is that a clear quartz? Well, I'll have to use it. I was thinking it was pretty. Oh, God, you got a clear quartz. I've got one of them as well. I can't remember what they're called, though. Oh, my God. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, fuck me. Oh, my God. Cute ball. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to say you were hitting it. I really have hit it. You've done vibe to a tea that's here. It's not even out, and you were like, I'm like, you've got three of us. That's so cute. I'm going to grab this one. What is that? What is that? Is that a fair number? Is that a fair number? No, it's dark. Oh, it's a good one. It's not. Oh, my God. 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 O
as close and it's just nice to be all together and it felt really Christmassy and really festive and really just like nice and it really made me just appreciate all my friends and now it's the next day I stayed at Lewis's last night didn't really film anything I came back really early this morning as he left to go to work it is Thursday I have got a bunch of editing to do today. I'm currently laid on my sofa in the exact same outfit that we were wearing last night. I didn't change. I just went straight from Anna's over to Lewis's. And I just come back. Had some breakfast. <sighs> I'm just catching up on some YouTube, you know. I feel like I love mornings like this. I always say it. Whenever Lewis goes to work, he has to leave about half past eight. Which means I get home really, really early in the morning. Well, not ridiculously early. But I get home before I would typically have woke up if I stayed here. So I like to sit on the sofa and appreciate the time between like 9 and 10 where I can get away with actually not starting my work yet and just catch up on some YouTube vids, get cosy, have a cup of tea. I'm literally just sat on my phone now going through my Christmas list as in like what I bought everyone else and I'm pretty sure I've all done my Christmas shopping. It's hard to tell though because I've had everything sent to my mum and dad's house. The plan for Christmas this year is a little different because obviously I'm with Lewis so we're at the point in our relationship where I feel like it makes sense for me to see him over Christmas But I feel like that's such a big thing like please tell me if I'm being stupid I feel like that is such a big thing Like whenever my friends would go and see their boyfriends at Christmas even though they lived in the same town I'd be like oh my god he's coming to yours on Christmas like that feels like such a big commitment because it's not only you Committing to having someone around on Christmas when it's all like about family and friends But then also your family is inviting them into like their environment. I'm like oh my god That's such a big deal. Well, it's not really but in my head I thought it was and now it's happening to me and I'm like ah I'm so, so excited for Lewis to open his Christmas present. I've literally had it sorted for months. Like I've had his present for absolute months. I've had a link to his present saved in my notes since April last year because I was so tempted to get him for his birthday and I never did. And then I was like, right, this can be his Christmas present. So since the day that I bought his birthday present, I've known that I was gonna get him this. This is the current state of my island. I've literally just been dumping things on here, running out the house. You don't even wanna see this room. This was so nice and tidy until I went home and now all of a sudden everything's everywhere And I'm just like how on earth has this happened? Like how on earth has this happened? I need to do a wash this shoes everywhere. I'm about to do something that I've wanted to do for a while now I don't really know my way of executing this. I bought this print literally like three, four weeks ago now and I have decided I do not like it. Now, it was cheaper than buying a blank canvas as large as that. So I just thought, you know, fuck it, even if I didn't like it, I were a bit unsure on it in the shop. But I let like, you know what, maybe a little bit of colour in my apartment is what I need. Turns out, don't actually like it. But I don't have anything to cover it with and I keep thinking to myself that like, I need to cover it and I want to cover it and it just, every time I see it, I'm like, ugh. The time has come for me to potentially fuck it all up. I mean, this is possibly one of the more dumb things I'm ever gonna do in my life, but why not just fuck it? I wanna like add bits to it every now and then. I don't wanna have like a final idea. I wanna like spray something on it, throw something on it, leave it to fucking burn and then chuck it in the bin and then get it back out of the bin and then be like, wow, abstract. So this is step one of abstract art. Art. I feel like spray paint's only fun because I feel like as a kid it was sent, like, made out to be a bad thing. And like, you'd see spray paint on graffiti and stuff and then my mom would be like, oh, I'm spray painting. And now I can just do it and like, it's not a bad thing. Ta-da! <laughs> I mean, this just looks bloody magnificent! <laughs> literally just walked back through my door and took my jumper off. I just had a lovely little walk around town. I probably went out for like two hours. I listened to two podcasts, just literally minding my own business, having a little moves around town. Anyway, whole time I did in fact buy my dad some socks. Got myself a fake tanning face mist because I really want to stop using the sunbeds, but fake tan, like the mousses, really clog my pores on my face. I have a love-hate relationship with fake tan. It works well on my body, but on my face, and I don't really care about my body being tanned. So I thought I'd try a new one, and I always 
use Bondi Sands, just because I feel like the undertones of this suit my natural undertones anyway. Then, I stumbled upon the shop that I filmed most of the clips in. In fact, I only really filmed in that shop just because time was so, so busy. I stumbled upon a shop called, I don't even think it has a name. Oh, I cannot pronounce it. Sostrine, Sostrine Green. Don't know, never ever seen the shop before until Callum pointed it out the other day and said his friend worked there and said it's like a mini Ikea. I went in and was in fact blown away. I ended up picking up some acrylic paint because I'm gonna put some acrylic paint on there. Oh my God, I thought it was that side then. I'm gonna throw some acrylic paint on there and just smudge it around, uh, make it look fun and fresh. Got a paintbrush to do that with. And then I also picked up some wrapping paper. So a sneak peek to anyone that gets a present off me this year. You have in fact got this wrapping paper because I was looking for some brown wrapping paper to put like cute ribbons and bows and stuff on it and have like a really plain package package present and then like dress it up nice in colourful ribbon but I couldn't find any that weren't like fucking four pound per roll these were a pound per roll um and then I got some command strips because oh no from that shot I didn't get those from that shot there from of course I got this canvas for my bedroom wall. I've been looking for a canvas like this size to go on my bedroom wall because I feel like it's too plain. And everywhere I've looked, they were like 40 pounds. Even on Amazon, they were literally like 40 pounds. 23 pounds in there, so I thought, what a bloody bargain, pick that up. I've been wanting to do something in my bedroom for a while. So I picked up that Command Railco strips to hang it on the wall. And then I also picked up some expanding foam. I thought to myself, do you know when everyone did like the cloud mirrors? Um, they're using expandable foam and I thought it looked really, really cool. And then there's a shop, I think it's Fred Perry. If you live in Manchester, the Fred Perry shop towards Northern Quarter. There's like a big bench in the middle and it's definitely done with, well it's probably not, it's probably done more professionally. But it's the coolest looking thing in the entire world. I don't have a photo of it, but every time I walk past I'm like, oh my god, that is so sick. <laughs> and I think that would look so sick as like a painting. Like I wish I could pick up that table and put it on a wall. So I thought I'm going to try and cover a canvas in this expanding foam thing. I don't really know how to use it. So we shall see. I'm gonna try a little DIY. But I've bought, bought some good stuff. I'm happy with my purchases actually. Very happy indeed. Especially with my dad's socks. Attached. I think I'm meant to get one with a nozzle attached, unless the nozzles fell out in my bag, which I don't believe it has done. I've got one without a nozzle. It means I can't even do it. That's so annoying. So I just called my mum and she did in fact inform me that it should have come. This camera's bloody awful. It should have in fact come with um, a little nozzle which is more than likely what this little tiny hole here is for. But me being stupid and annoying, I just grabbed the first one off the shelf and I'm like, ah, I'll have this one. Didn't even clock that it didn't have a little nozzle with it. Or maybe you have to buy them separately. I literally have no idea. So I'm gonna have to go back. I think I'm the stupid one and I fucked it up. So what I'm gonna do is this, I'm gonna put the Velcro strips onto this thing and I'm gonna hang it on my wall in the position that it's gonna go in and just vision it. Just imagine that it's got this on because I'm annoyed at myself and only myself. In other news though, I'm actually really impressed with this. Like I really, really like it. I just showed my mum and she's like, oh my God, that's incredible. Look at the little textures. Oh, I am in fact an artist. The only thing that's annoying me is I um, may have accidentally spilt some paint over the side. So now some of the black frame is in fact got paint on it, but that looks so much better and matches the vibe of the flat so much more. Oh my best. Shut my blinds before someone thinks I'm bloody filming a bit of a pole night. Caught me having the neighbours thinking that I'm going to steal my dinner. Right, I'm just gonna use you guys and this little viewfinder to put this on the wall. I've stuck the sticky pads on the back, but I've never used command velcro like this. Um, so I'm gonna use you guys to see whereabouts. I want this, I want it like central. It's gonna have to be there. Girls, I didn't even mean to do that, but it's just there now. So it's just gonna have to be there. Do you know what, actually, that's quite level. That is quite, quite level. I feel like it's too small. I mean, once it's done and it's got like the expanding foam all over it, it'll like pop out more. I feel like it maybe looks a bit fucking ridiculous. Maybe it's too high. Maybe it's slightly too high.